So right now I'm off of Riverside Avenue. And this was the spot of three different uh, movie studios. They all occupy the same spaces at different times. The first one was Lubin. They operated between 1912 and 1915. Just right here behind me, underneath the overpass. Now they're significant because in 1914, Oliver Hardy came down to Jacksonville and got his start right here at Lubin. Lubin went out of business and then Vim Comedy Company took over. And during that time, Hardy worked for them also. He did a series of films called Pokes and Jabs. And he was a, a bit player in there, but he was a reoccurring character. And eventually he got the name of Plump. And he was teamed up with the another actor called Billy Rube and he was called Runt and eventually they got spun off into their own series called Clump and Runt and that was Hardy's very first comedy pairing that was right here in Jacksonville now Vim went out of business in 1917 and that was because Hardy found out they were stealing from the payroll. So they went out of business and then King B took over and Hardy worked for them as well. But eventually they they uh, moved off to Hollywood as, as did Hardy himself. So. But it was right here in Jacksonville where Oliver Hardy got his start. And right now they're constructing a uh, skate park here. This is actually right along the river as well. The river's right over here. You can see it as the sun. A lot of the uh, movie studios are right along the river here. All right, before I leave here, that's where I was just at over there. Right over here on Riverside, there is a there was a listing for a Cuckoo Comedies along Riverside Avenue here. Uh, really not much known about it. Other than that, there was a listing on Riverside Avenue. And like a lot of companies, they just, they did comedies. And that was kind of a thing that they specialized in. Some companies did at that time. And there are some studio listings where it's just that. It's just a listing. There's nothing known about them. Nothing, no films exist of them anymore. So just want to mention that before I left this location. All right, so I'm here at the Friendship Fountain. Here to talk about the 1917 film *The Gulf Between*. Uh, this fountain generally lights up at night, so it's kind of fitting that speaking about it here, of course, during the day, so it's not lit up. But there is no location to talk about *The Gulf Between*. There are uh, some stills and behind-the-scenes stuff, but the film itself is lost. It um. It's significant because it's the very first Technicolor film and it was shot here in Jacksonville. And it was lost in 1961 in the fire. And again, there's only like still frames remaining and there are some behind the scenes shots. But it is significant and it was filmed here in Jacksonville. So this bridge is the Main Street Bridge. 1916, the film Dead Alive was filmed here. They had a car chase coming this direction. And they, they took the car into the river right before the bridge. And the film itself is lost. So.
guys, this is the corner of Monroe and Davis. It's somewhere along here. In 1916, there was a film shot by the Equitable, Equitable Company called the Claron. And they did a mob scene and they got a bunch of extras out and it got out of control and ended up destroying part of a bar building that they were filming in as well as another adjacent building. Now this, along with other incidents, kind of turned the residents against the film industry and essentially uh, was one of the things that led to its downfall in Jacksonville.